Hello Gemini and welcome into your weekly love tarot reading. This is the first week of December's energy so we are getting real in this reading. We want to uncover truth with regards to your relationship whatever that may be past present or future energy as well. We're going to be asking some of the real questions okay we're going to be finding out who are you really who are they really and who are you dealing with um, uh, how are they really feeling towards you and what are their real intentions moving forward with you as well. So it's a time of December, you know, let, let's get the energy that comes through that really shows us what is going on. But let's get those first cards out. The first card out is going to be to do with who you really, who you really with, as opposed to how people like show themselves to you. Because we know, yes, when we meet somebody or we with somebody, people tend to show the best parts of themselves and keep other things a bit quiet or hidden. So let's see your person, whomever they may be to you, past, present or future. Who are they really? Um, um, while I'm shuffling, the we do I do an extended. It's a complete separate reading. Um, it's going to be looking into the same questions that I want to because we're moving into December. 2021 is right here, so I want to see and uh, moving into the new year. Will their feelings or their the energy, their intentions at all change? Because that's another thing we are reading current energy. So the extended is going to be future energy moving into 2021. How will things be then? If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description box below. But I've got a card that I'm feeling. Wow. Okay, so for whom, whomever you guys are dealing with now, the main card to come out here literally says your commitment is being tested. My goodness, first quarter moon. So that shows me what Ever situation we are looking into yeah it's running into a little bit of difficult times because the commitment only gets tested when there is a bit of a problem so when we start getting into a bit of rough waters that is when things we really see what we made of kind of energy so let's see with regards to that card coming out there first like that who are you really dealing with Whoop, that card just like flew so somebody is being a bit a bit held back here. You've got the strength card in the reverse position. It is your Leo energy. It is in the reverse position. It does say, the way it's described in this specific deck, it does say detach. Detach. So that's telling me somebody, I feel like it's them because this is their, who they really are, is sort of detaching from you, from the situation. There is an insecurity attached to this card as well, which tells me that they don't feel like they are capable of being the very strong person or being able to handle the situation. So if something is going wrong and they're pulling back their energy, it's because they feel like they can't handle what is happening. So they're pulling back. So let's go deeper into seeing exactly who they are with regards to this detached energy yeah let's see who they are let's get a card out here that represents yeah they're moving away from stressful times oh they got the king of swords with the six of swords energy uh they don't want to deal with anything this is the thing. They detach their energy. I don't feel like they can deal with situations, especially, you know, anything that sort of, I feel like this is a person that you're currently with. If this is an ex-person, it's sort of explaining what has happened. This is not a new person at all. Um, this is how they deal with conflict. This is how they deal with uh, difficult things that crop up in life. You know, most of us, we, we, we can't avoid it. There's always going to be things that come up, okay? When they deal with these things, they don't face the problem head on. They run away, okay? There is your Six of Swords energy. They don't like to stay in hard, rough water over here. They don't like to deal with different things. They don't like to face the Strength card in the reverse position. Things that require effort, things that require a solution. So the way that they solve problems is to run away. And this is what the King of Swords will do. It's a cutting energy. It's kind of like defending itself, defending yourself kind of energy. It is. It can go cold as well, this energy. So I feel like your person... Whenever it gets real, you know, when the relationship gets to a part where now we got real, now things are going to what a real relationship looks like. We're moving past the stages of fun and laughing and all those things and we're moving into a place of this is a real situation with a real human being and we have to face commitment, we have to face problems, we have to solve things. They don't like to do those kinds of things. They don't want to have those responsibilities. So they end up being coming detached, they end up becoming cold and they end up like wanting to leave leave that situation and just go to where it's easy. But the thing is in life, nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. That's the problem. So let's go and have a little little bit, get advice from spirit guides with you with regards to who you are dealing with here. This is very interesting. Whoa, there comes that card. I love it when they just snap a card and they make me notice. 
This is their energy. It's literally 100% what they do. Spirit Guide is going, this is what your person likes to travel lightly. They like to have a very simple life. Anything that's hard to do, anything that is difficult. Okay, something fell. I don't even know. Oh, okay. One of my, uh, an actual nail polish of mine fell on the ground. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, <clears throat> Spirit Guides, thank you for getting our attention. Simplify your life. This energy is literally the energy of of them wanting to keep their life simple. Um, they travel lightly. The moment they pick up the baggage, the moment things get difficult, this is what they do. This is what they do. This is the very exact same energy. Um, it can be a good thing to simplify your life, but this indicates that they will never um, uh, get to a place where they have more. I mean, if you're always being very simple in life, you're always leaving anything that seems difficult or heavy to carry, what will you ever have? That is the problem here. So Spirit Guide is kind of like, like showing it again that they keep things very simple. They keep things very straightforward here. Um, they do not like to to complicate things and when complications come in they are going to run in the opposite direction this is what you need to know about your person whoa now let's go in and see how are they really feeling about you this is the cards that uh, for me speaks volumes because when people can do funny things but you know if their feelings are sometimes very strong it can be what makes them actually face the things that they don't want to face so let's see with regards to how they feel about you what is coming up here what is coming up here let's have a look and see well, a new start is coming. I'm just saying a new start is coming. So that indicates to me something is going up here with regards to how they're feeling. I just need to understand exactly what new start this is. Um, if this is their feelings, it could indicate one way or, or the other way. It can indicate either their feelings are, are literally more towards you and they will want to come towards you and actually have a new positive start with you or move forward in a more positive way. If this is an exit, it can even indicate that they do have feelings for you. They want to come back in. But on the opposite side of this energy as well, it can indicate that they want a new start. It can indicate that they want to walk away from a commitment and they just want to be free from any kind of feelings they have for you as well. Let's have a look and see exactly, exactly what is this new start indicating. No, I'm worried about that. Nine of Pentacles coming out there. So let's have a look and see what other card is going to come up here. No, to me, this looks like they want to walk away from a situation. I just have to tell you guys, I hate to say it like that, but it's what I'm seeing here. The Nine of Pentacles indicates a person that sometimes... Uh, gets involved in situations or relationships that they shouldn't be getting involved in. They kind of make the wrong choices and do the wrong things. Usually the underlying energy of a nine of pentacles like this is insecurity. And I felt it from this energy here because this energy kind of like, I was saying they kind of like feel like they can't do something or they're not strong enough to do something, but they don't actually realize that they are. But I feel like they're choosing not to make the effort. Um, this is a bit of conflict here. Yeah, this is what makes me go, I think they're walking away from the conflict. It comes out here as well, walking away from conflict, from un, as not happy times, from negative energy. The Six of Swords always talks about stressful times being left behind. This is stressful times, and this is them with a new beginning. They may literally want to walk away from it, this connection because it's just too much for them to deal with. So let's go and see, Spirit Guides, what is up with this person's feelings? Why? Do they actually have any? Do they actually have any feelings for the for my Gemini's out there? Right now, uh, their feelings are on pause, hey? Um, they blocking their feelings. If they do have feelings, they're not looking at those feelings. This is the thing. Because with the Hermit card coming up here, this is the Seek energy. The Hermit card indicates obviously somebody being cut off. And it does say detach there. And it's Seek energy, but it's in the reverse position. So they're not seeking answers. It's almost like they're seeking peace. Because the person is in a meditative kind of way. They don't want difficult situations in their life at all. They want things to be what? Very simple. 
travel lightly. Anything that involves a lot of hard work, a lot of effort to make something work, they're not going to want to do that. Um, it also indicates that as of late, with that hermit card being there, things have been happening between you and them that they do not like. Whatever the conflict has been here, they don't like this kind of conflict. And it also indicates a very stubborn, stubborn energy. The hermit card in reverse for me is very stubborn. It's almost like if you can try to talk to them, they won't answer you. So with the Hermit card being in reverse, for so some of them, they might have even walked away, might have blocked you or may not be answering your messages in a kind of vibe that I'm picking up here. Um, that is a very stubborn, closed off energy when the Hermit card is in the reverse position. I almost feel like it's like um, energy that you cannot shift. While somebody's got this energy, you won't be able to reach out to them or communicate with them as well. Even if they read your messages, your answer back from them will be very short. It'll just be yes, no kind of vibe it's not going to be any explanations it's a very stubborn energy so let's see advice for you guys with regards to how they're feeling i feel like they're very closed off they're not in their feelings for you at all currently um this person it looks like they're walking away they're shutting down energy with regards to feelings advice for you moving forward let's see what spirit guide has got to say with the sacred traveler wow distant thunder distant thunder as energy has come up here it does say clear it does say they clear the air. I want you to see. I'm going to bring it closer. Clear the air, distant thunder. Um, this can be what you want to do. And I, I'm just telling you right now, if it's you trying to reach out to them or you trying to clear up what is going on here, you're going to have to be very careful because this card showing, I feel like this could be what's going on with you. Honestly, you can have this feeling of maybe wanting to reach out to them, wanting to hear what is going on, wanting to understand why this is happening kind of energy. You are going to be faced with a very difficult battle if you try to do so because of what I was just telling you underneath this card. This card will not want to clear the air. This is the hermit in reverse position. They don't want even to look at that storm. And I feel like you do, even if you're a male or female energy, you are looking at what has caused all of this to happen. And you're trying to see if you can try to solve this energy or try to figure out why it has even happened. Or you, the kind of, like if you want to clear the air, it means that you want to actually solve the problem. Let's go and fix what was wrong and solve this problem. But you faced with like almost like a brick wall kind of energy with that seek energy being in the reverse position position because they're not wanting to seek resolution they're actually very closed off energy so um, a spirit guide is telling you if you are going to try to reach out to them and try to solve a problem yeah i feel like you're not going to be you're not going to get the solution that you're looking for they are going to be totally closed off to you you may even hit that energy of not feeling the love from them because this is an energy of asking about feelings just a warning so now let's see moving forward Woo. Goodness me, what are their intentions with you moving forward? Let's have a look and see what comes up here. Something major, they're about to change. You've got a new moon eclipse energy. By the way, 30th of no November is a new moon eclipse. Expect some powerful change. Uh, something is about to almost like be revealed to you here. They may come up uh, and even tell you that they're walking away. I honestly don't feel like this is a positive vibe. This is a big shift in your guys' relationship. Something is about to happen. I think this reading is released on the 1st, so this has just happened. If this reading, yeah, it's released on the 1st, it means that yesterday that eclipse just happened. And this can be a moment where you literally seeing all of this unfolding with you and this person. It's I feel like they're showing you their true selves or their true energy of what they really want or what they want to do. I, feel, I don't feel like anything's going to be hidden from you. You're going to know exactly, oh, this person's walking away. Oh, they don't want to. They, they're very close off towards me. So let's see. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you've got an Eight of Swords in the reverse position, like wow. Um, this indicate Eight of Swords talks about being restricted, controlled. Um, it's almost like they feel like they can't get on with their life. I feel like this is what this energy is. It's in the traveling lightly. Um, I've been restricted by a connection. I've been restricted by a responsibility, a commitment. And I don't like this restriction. The Six of Swords energy this traveling lightly, the King of Swords does not like to be here. This is in the reverse position. It indicates somebody that's going, no, 
no, um, I don't want to be in this kind of situation. I'm going to walk away from this. I want to get on with my life. I want to be in a negative place. I don't want to be in a place where I need to put a huge amount of effort or um, I'm being controlled by another person. No, I'm walking away from this connection. Let's see what other what else comes up in. No security, guys. You need to be careful. You just need to be careful moving forward with this person. I don't want any one of my Geminis to get hurt or anything like this. If this person is not willing... Their intention is not to be in a commitment with you. With the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position, they want to walk away. A powerful change is about to happen. And then the powerful change is them like walking away from a restricted situation. Remember, restricted can mean commitment. Because when you get into a commitment, you literally are restricting your life. You're going, I am committed to this person. So I cannot now behave in certain ways. I've got responsibility. That responsibility for them is restriction. So they want to walk away from this. They don't see long-term security. And I don't think they want to give this Ace of Pentacles energy to you either. It's like they're taking it back. Um, this can even show that they can be in some kind of depression as well. Sometimes the Ace of Pentacles can indicate a very sort of down energy sometimes depressed energy as well let's go deeper in here and see what other cards come up with regards to their intentions towards you yeah they're going to release something here you got a two of pentacles energy this is something that's either happened already or it is going to happen fine balance is the two of pentacles energy which indicates that they're finding they stressed they're very stressed out about this energy, your commitment being tested, um, their strength energy is already in the reverse position. This is them literally going, you know what, um, I don't feel this energy at all. I don't feel like I can handle what is happening here. I need to put something down. They may have been in this energy for a while already. They may have been a while kind of going, I need to release this. I need to release this. And I feel like they're making a decision very soon. If they haven't already made that decision now already, that's what you need to know. Two of Pentacles will not hold on. So let's go in and see advice for you guys moving forward here. Wow, Gemini. Mm. I'm not sure if I like this energy for you at all. I'm not sure if I like how, how it feels. Um, it literally says you must follow where your happiness is, guys. Navigating by the stars. This is an energy of you literally needing to follow um, your heart energy and follow what makes you happy. They do know and they do recognize your spirit guides that you don't know what is about to unfold here. Because when you are navigating by the stars, it's in the dark. And I couldn't navigate by the stars. I can't even navigate by GPIS. I even get lost there. And it's like rerouting, rerouting. So never trust me to navigate you anywhere, okay? Um, navigating by stars is them asking you to trust them. And they, they are like kind of like saying, you know, when something feels makes you feel happy when something makes you feel good then you need to trust that feeling because it says follow your bliss if a situation and i feel like this situation i don't think there's there was a feeling of bliss here lately and it, just because there was maybe the word bliss can be happiness you know joy contentment is that kind of word of bliss feeling when do we use the word bliss i'm just saying and um, it's this feeling, it could have been there in the past, but the first moment, like real difficulty started to show itself, that bliss is gone. You know what I mean? And if it is currently not here and it's not there, you can try to get it back by clearing the air. But if somebody does not want to clear the air with you, if somebody is like literally wanting to let go, there is nothing you can do. You cannot force another person to do what they don't want to do. And you got to make yourself happy here. You got to put yourself back into a place where you start putting yourself forward you start looking after you you start bringing in happy moments into your everyday life so you might have to like literally let somebody go and focus on your own energy moving forward we have started with the moonology deck and i want to end with the moonology deck as well considering we are moving into two eclipses and full moon eclipse literally came through here i feel like it's a sign to end with moonology again another eclipse is happening guys in december um, it's on the 30th of November, and again, I think on the 15th, 14th or the 15th, depending on where you are in the world, um, just check your time zones or whatever. Um, this is in Sagittarius, full moon eclipse again. Very emotional time in the next two weeks that we'll be going through. But know that after the middle of December, emotions are going to start to settle again. So even though I feel like for some of you guys, you might be a little bit in a bit of a 
emotional roller coaster little bit vibe coming through here it is going to settle it is going to settle you are going to start feeling a bit better so let's see moving forward they're asking you to hold back your energy um, meditate and contemplate is literally this hermit card energy that has come up here. They are asking you to really go deep and think literally. I think within the, in the space, if they kind of like don't want to speak to you or they're pulling back their energy or even telling you they don't want to speak to you, uh, they, they meditate and contemplate usually indicates taking no action. Um, it indicates kind of going quiet. New moon in Pisces, examining your own feelings, examining their behavior as well. Because when you meditate, you kind of like come to conclusions. It indicates being quiet. It indicates not speaking, not reaching out as well. In those moments when you become quiet is when you can really clear up your mind and really start to see things in a different way. This is an emotional time. I feel like especially for whomever I'm reading for, because we've got this new moon energy in Pisces as well, and we've just gone into a new moon. I feel like from now until the full, full moon energy, you are going to be in a little bit of a up and down emotional feeling because that's the Pisces energy kind of a little bit back and forth one day kind of okay one day not okay even in the same day you know and um it is going to pass though it is going to pass I do feel like with the meditate and contemplate card being there you are going to come to some kind of conclusion within yourself as well as to what to do and what is right for you as well wow Gemini and this is such a back and forth energy um I wonder how things will be moving into January with this person. Will they by any chance change in the new year? Um, if I do this reading for you guys for extended reading, I think I would literally look into the first two months of 2021 to see if if this person's energy changes at all towards you. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description box below. But I am sending you guys all light and love. Have an amazing first week. Try to just be in a quiet place like this, just to, you know, um, don't try to put yourself in conflict with anybody or try to reach out. It's quite obvious here that the person is not going to respond to you the way you want them to respond. Um, just be in that quiet meditative place have a good look at the connection and see exactly almost like see it for what it really is like open the eyes pull back and get another perspective to kind of like see what you need to see there we go guys i'm sending you all light and love thank you so much for watching bye